hope there aren't any unpleasant surprises here. Comparing the Long Shadow to the data from Resurgum, this current data is a 40% match. Damn. It's not encouraging. Let's start the diagnosis. Now, just as I thought, we found a tumor in your lungs. Something odd's been found, too. I'm sorry, but I'll, I'll need to look into it more. Um... Huh? What's wrong? Are, are you in pain? I have a daughter. Uh, She'll be turning three this summer. I see. Well, all the more reason to hurry your exams along. Wouldn't want to miss your daughter's birthday and have her run off with some boy, right? <laughs> of course not, sir. Uh, we're reporting a new symptom. As of a moment ago, my stomach has begun to hurt. Abdominal pains now. Conditions of this disease may be progressing after all. Roni, record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Stomach ache. Th that's all, sir. Total bilirubin level is way above average. Roni, add that to our shopping list. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High total bilirubin level. His AST level is unusually high. Roni, record that symptom. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High AST level. He's got a high ALT. Roni, that's not normal. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High ALT level. Gamma GTP is abnormally high. Ronan, you getting all this? Yes, Doctor. New symptom observed. High gamma GTP level. His LAP level is definitely beyond the average range. Roni, make a note. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High LAP level. Pivka 2 level's too high. Roni, make a note of it. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High Pivka 2 level. Hmm. There's an abnormality in the AFP level. Roni, record this. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High AFP level. Of his eyes have become yellow. It's jaundice. 
Ronnie, you know what to do. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Jaundice. Well, we've got some more things to consider. Let's sort them back out at our workspace. Now, let's see if we can't narrow things down a bit with this new data. Confirmed. I have a bad feeling. Doctor, would you like to send in a request for a liver examination? Yeah. Get me a CT and a scintigraphy. I want to check the CT first. Understood, Doctor. The CT examination is now available, and I have sent a request for the scintigraphy. Please check the CT results first. Got it. I'll head to the image analysis lab. <laughs> are ready for you. Yeah, let's get to it. Collate it with your data. Check if any cases match this. Understood, Doctor. Beginning collation. Probability of relevant correspondence is 58%. Since it isn't a clear shadow, it's impossible to collate it further. Hmm. Too close to make a call. I'll need to double check this with the scintigraphy after all. Roni, bring up the scintigraphy results. Are they ready? Yes, Doctor. The scintigraphy is now available. can be seen in this tumor in the liver, but this shape isn't normal. Doctor, this shadowing is similar in shape to that of the one confirmed in the lungs. Yeah, but it isn't normal. Roni, make a note in his file. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. I think it's time we decided on a diagnosis. Understood, Doctor. Making preparations now. There 
there's almost no mistake. It's malignant liver tumor. But what is that shadowing? First, it's in the lungs. Now, it's in the liver. What in the world's going on? Oh, yeah. Roni, send a progress report to the higher-ups. Our client's probably starting to get impatient. Yes, Doc. Would you like to continue on with the diagnosis? Yeah. There's still something that doesn't add up. I have a bad feeling about this. Understood, Doc. Doctor, we have an urgent situation. I received a report that the patient collapsed. Please head to the examination room immediately. What? I'm on my way. Shadowing in the liver, too? What the hell's going on? Patient's condition has worsened. Please go to the exam room. Damn it! I'm gonna find out what it is no matter what. Oh, doctor. You don't look well. I heard you collapsed. Are you alright? I just lost my balance. I'm sorry, sir. No, it's fine. But don't strain yourself. If you don't feel well, you need to lie down and... Doctor? Huh? What is it? I'm afraid of death. The fact that I might die from this, it frightens me quite a lot, sir. I'm... a failure as a soldier. Of course you're afraid, you dimwit. Huh? Everyone feels that way. After all, when you die, that's it. Doctors, soldiers, everyone's afraid of dying. Now, if you understand, then turn around and look at me. Let's run some more tests. <sighs> Doctor, I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with the examination any longer. Huh? What do you mean? I was just given an order to cease all my cooperation with your diagnostics. What? That's impossible! What are you talking about? He is correct, Doctor. I have just confirmed that order. Our clearance for using the image analysis lab has been revoked as well. Pending further discussion, the Army will not let us diagnose him any further. Well, screw that! Who gives a damn about their politics? His condition is getting worse. Are they gonna just let him die? I cannot say, Doctor. However, given recent actions, that appears to be their intent. What? Doctor, it's all right. Uh. If you start making a scene, you won't be safe either. But you really tried your best to help me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Damn it! Roni, isn't there some way? There is not, Doctor. I have confirmed the existence of a spyware program installed on my hard drive. Presumably. If we examine the patient further, the Army's leaders will be alerted. Ugh. Think. There's gotta be a way. Dr. Cunningham, I have finished analyzing the spyware program. Huh? You can do that? I cannot delete it, but I have an understanding of its parameters. The program triggers an alarm whenever it registers direct diagnostic activity. All right. What are you getting at? It appears that if we make idle conversation with our friend, they will not be alerted. Ah, I see where you're going. Great job, Roni. Whoever put that spyware together sure did a great job. D doctor what are you going to... Hmm? Oh, nothing. By the way, soldier, we're friends, right? Uh-huh. If you say so, Doctor. Is that so? Then... Let's have a friendly chat, shall we? Two buddies chewing the fat. It's not like I'm examining you or anything, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. I mean, uh, bud. Now then, I'm going to initiate a fun little chat with my friend here. And of course, it's just idle banter. Not at all an examination or anything clinical. That means I'll have to make sure to pay attention to everything that comes out of his mouth. Uh, Doc, I mean, Mr. Cunningham, thanks for coming to chat with me. Let's see, uh, why don't I tell you about my life in the Army? We soldiers go through severe conditioning training every day. Because of that, even sitting still, like this, sometimes my muscles hurt so bad that I can barely stand it. Muscle pains, huh? You don't say. 
Hey, Roni, can you jot that down? It's not important. Just a memo so I remember my friend later. I would love to do that. Meaningless friendly observation. Muscle pains. Still, in, in order to get promoted, you have to study, too. I try to make time at night to read the instructional materials, but just reading all that stuff gives me a headache sometimes, you know? Ah, your head hurts, you say. Gee, I almost missed that one. Clever friend of mine. Roni, would you be a dear and make a memo of that? I'd like to include it in my Christmas card this year. It would be my pleasure. Meaningless, friendly observation. Headache. Oh, but it's not all bad. The meals are usually pretty good. But sometimes I feel like, uh, there isn't the right balance of ingredients in the food. Right balance, huh? <laughs> Somehow I don't think he meant the food. Still, he is my pal and all. I should make sure he's eating right. Army food's famously terrible. Roni, did you make a memo? Sure would suck if you got anemic from what they're feeding him here. That is awfully sociable of you. Meaningless friendly observation. Anemia. I was okay until a moment ago but it suddenly feels really hot. Feeling hot? But the AC's working just fine. Perhaps my acquaintance is stricken with a fever. Wait a minute. Maybe I can make use of this. I'm sorry, old chum, but you aren't able to cooperate with any exams, right? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. So, you can't lift up your shirt and let me examine you, right? Not even... As friends? No, I couldn't do that. Well, that's too bad. But orders are orders, right? Nevertheless, buddy, if you feel hot in here, feel free to take your shirt off and cool down. I mean, after all, it's just us guys in here, right? The bros, huh? Just a couple of buds. What about me? I do not believe I am technically a bro. There you go again. Always trying to drive a stake between us. You're jealous of what we have. Well, that's one way to do it. Well, it is pretty hot in here. Maybe I will take my shirt off. Well, go right ahead. No sense being uncomfortable when we're having such a pleasant conversation. Would you like me to make a fever memo in case you wish to review this repartee at a later date? Why, yes, that would be splendid. How considerate of you to look after me and my good acquaintance here. Naturally, Doctor. It is in my programming to have a pleasant bedside manner. Mister, you've been a good friend. I trust you'll know what to do. Hmm. Bloodshot eyes. I hate it when my friends have these troubles. Roni, can you jot that down? File it in one of those uh, useless non-medical databases. I'm the perfect place for it. Meaningless friendly observation. Bloodshot eyes. Pigment spots. That's not a good color. Roni, this is very rare. Bravo to my friend here for displaying such exquisite coloring. I'll make a memo on its rareness. Meaningless friendly observation. Pigment spots on skin. All right, we've gotten all the sim... I mean... Man, oh man, that was a riveting discussion. Roni, I think my old pal needs his rest. Perhaps we should return to our workspace and rest as well? I agree, Doctor. 